So hi everyone and welcome back to Sensational Love Soul by Heidi. So um, I will apologize in advance because my voice is already awake. It's I think it's 2 3 p.m. here in the afternoon and I kept trying to um, filming my video in the night but it turned out that I become exhausted the next day and I suggest myself and I I told to myself that I have to change the pattern that I'm uploading or that I'm doing or filming this video because first of all I'm working full time in the weekdays and my children need an attention from me then I too have other errands from the weekend so that's why I said okay whatever it takes I will upload it and I will be filming in the daytime so I can do edit in the right track in the night time so let's just move ahead but yes I apologize if there's someone is running around or there's someone screaming in the, in the background so let's just start it and digging the perfume that I purchased it um, I love this and I kind of wanted to have this but unfortunately I do love the creeping sounds of the bird outside. It's so gloomy here in Australia. It's kind of raining and then it's supposed to be spring but I think throughout the week right now it will be raining so it's kind of cold and gloomy um, weather so I was so tempted not to filming right now because I wanted to have a little bit of relaxing with my husband because he was there downstairs with the boys but unfortunately I have to do this because life has moved on and I have to do it um, this job I have my other job but I do love this ladies and gentlemen this is my passion so let's dig into the thing first before I'm jumping all over so this is a Chanel gardenia that I love to have it long time ago unfortunately as all we know Chanel is kind of expensive and this is one of the exclusive versions of um, Chanel that I'm glad I purchased it because right now I think Christmas, Christmas is coming so I'm preparing for the gift for my family and I decided okay I will just purchase for myself and for my husband and family but yes let's just jump ahead and Let's dig in what is the Chanel's just gave me. This is a Chanel Gardenia exclusive, the 19, that was launched on 1925. Where is the box? A very pretty, like white, white, always. Look at that, how they give me this. They giving me, they included the um, previous inside, which is included in the box. I'm glad that I purchased it because they give me two different decal that I will be reviewing the next couple of days. I spray is already in the store but yes let me just tell you this um this is a chanel i think this is the uh, boys and the other one is the um 1957 i think let me just think check it because don't nah, yeah exactly 1957 and the boys and the other one that i um that i sprayed in the store is just like the carmelone if i'm mistaken correct me if I'm wrong and this is the one that they give me the sublimage as just like a lot cream and <laughs> the lotion sublimage exfoliante and also inside the box which is this one yes the last one give me I need to okay yeah there's a two cream here that I love to try it on this is a sublimage whatever is that this is a cream I think for your face this is of um for what is this all about yeah this is one is as exfoliations and the other one is just as a cream channel that they have it here and inside of it it's just like they're giving you this Chanel the blanche for your face like a eliminating base that I never tried I will do I um and by the way an unrelated subject like I wanted to try because most of the time I'm buying some products that I didn't review in front of you I was starting to do that little by little because I wanted to give some other advice to the women out there what is the best things 
when it comes to the uh, matured age, which is the best for makeup, what is the best for um, maintenance for your face without going to the salon or the um, spa. So this one is the Micro Room Hydration's Reality. This is nice. This actually just is a nice gift. Why is it keep coming full? Let's drop again. And this one, um, it this is a mascara that I never opened it yet. I never opened it. This is cool, ladies and gentlemen. They're giving me as well as this type of oh, where is that? That's for mascara. I'm not pretty sure what is this, but this is just a guideline for your. But I don't have it. Yeah, for your um, foundation that I don't get it. I think I'm not pretty sure. Yes, they don't have. So supposed to be it has. I'm not pretty sure. So this is the mascara that I'm not pretty sure if I will just review it in front of you. But this is a Chanel. This is wonderful. And this is just like a menu of the service, which is like a fragrance, blah, 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 etc. I'm not going to make it faster. It's just like this. I'm just going to open this now because I wanted to let you know. So this one, I already sprayed this long time ago and I never had a chance to buy it because of the price. It's so pricey for, for 100 ml. When I asked them last time, it cost like a 300 something for 100 ml. I was just like, wow. It's just, oh sorry, not 100 ml. It's just like 75 ml at the time, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, write down below in the comment box. But it's more smaller than this one. It's just already 385 ml. So that was giving a chance to save a little bit money and then I bought this. This is a 200 ml, which is a really, really good, really, really good for for you ladies and ladies, especially of course ladies. For if you love a very soft type of gardenia, if you are a lover of gardenia, if you just want it to be smell sophisticated in a different way, this is first. Look at the bottle itself. Look at the box. It's very simple. Um, I do love the box. I do love the presentations of the box. It's very sophisticated, simple. It's very minimalistic, but you know that it has a quality when it comes to the presentations. It has a long um, longevity to my body chemistry. I think it has a longevity of two to three hours to my body chemistry. Ladies and gentlemen, that's, it's not that long last um, when it comes to exclusive of Chanel. It hurts me because this is a very wonderful type of perfume. However, that's it it goes. This is that is a version of the Chanel. That's how they represent that. How how the perfume itself represent this type of perfume. But the long um the silage is also as one point five to two meters away from me before they will smell me. But Good. It has this bottle that it will represent you as a minimalistic but sophisticated and glamour type of Chanel. I don't need to exaggerate everything when it comes to Chanel. It speaks by itself. So let's just talk about it first. The notes. It has a notes that have um, like an orange blossom in here. It has this green note. It also has in the middle notes of the um, Fruit notes, tuberose, jasmine, and the gardenia, and also has a base note of sandalwood, patchouli, vetiver, coconut, I think, and vanilla. So when I went a week, I think month ago, it's long time ago when I just passed by in exclusive Chanel store in in Westfield, and I smell this. I just hanging around, wandering around, checking what is the best Chanel exclusive that they have it and I always have my Chanel but it's not when it comes to the exclusive part because they're very pricey first and then I'm never sure if I can afford it the point view it's just like okay I pass by I saw this and I compare which one is the best thing and I saw Gardenia I said wow I love floral scents I wanted to try a different type of not that Every time it's like a vanilla, strong vanilla, strong vanilla, uh, lavender. I want to try different. It's very light, but when you smell it, it has a different impact to myself. And my passion when it comes to the perfume is 
as the other people like they are collectors i do love to collect but i wanted to share it with you because i wanted you to know that i love smelling perfume as a people out there who loves to collecting i know you understand me that but when i smell this in the beginning just like it i call it a very simple uh, sophisticated type of perfume hmm. so first of all it really has good good oh my god you know what guys let me rephrase this when i first spray this in the um store because i think it's always closed all we know mm. the first thing that i smell right now is just like it's not a gardenia because that was what i'm thinking uh oh, what will i gonna tell you ladies and gentlemen it's like now it has this gardenia slash tuberous sense that with opening uh with a really type of a floral scent is a very simple but light and it has no complexity it's really nice it's very high-end type of perfume um i think at the time because i'm using a decant and i use it in the strip like a paper strip and i use it to the other part of my wrist um i don't like it i kind of hesitant to buy it they she gave me the carmadon i think um and she gave me 1957 and gardenia and i smell those three different type of perfume and this is my mistake at the time when i first came there um months months ago i just sprayed this gardenia and from the beginning that i came there to the end of that i left the store i do love this gardenia and i told to myself one day i can I will purchase that gardenia and it happens and I'm glad it happens because it's really nice I think at the time when I sprayed it it in my uh, what do you call this in my body chemistry or in my nose in my, all my factory nose all factory nose ladies and gentlemen okay we have these senses in our, our olfactory nose that when we mix up all of the chemicals it combine that all so what happened when you smell all those perfume all the chemicals mix up together and and the senses that from your olfactory senses send it to your brain it will be different so when i smell those those two three perfume the reactions of my brain they doesn't like it and then the girl was just telling me and shout out for this girl i forgot her name but thank you for advising me why don't you just walk around first have a bit of wandering around and just come back but at the time i'm really really eager to have the gardenia and i'm thinking um gardenia or gardenia or karma on 957 and she said oh today you're wearing like a smells of karmadon of killian princess but the killian princess as well is so sweet i said no i will give myself a bit of a time and now this is the time and i said no i'm gonna purchase that and she advised me why don't you buy a smaller one so if you don't like it you can have a chance just to finish that and i said no i wanted the 200 ml which is the 500 dollar for my price and I never regret because this one has no complexity it has a tubers in the in the beginning and when it's drying down now I smell this white floral scent that it's nice however it has this coconut in here but I couldn't detect I didn't even have a vanilla here I smell the sophistications it's really 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 nice you know ladies and gentlemen this is a type of perfume that if you're going to a very um nice event very sophisticated event very exclusive event this is the perfume that i would love to wear that everyone will love. wow that is a refined perfume very very nice product that can catch the attentions in a different way it doesn't catch the attention it's just like wow it's that sweet but this one is just like wow it's sophisticated type of perfume it can be your signature but in the high end in the top of the line of type of perfume and 
you wouldn't regret. However, a lot of people were just telling me that doesn't long last. I experienced that when it comes to decant, but I think because right now it is kind of coolish here with the distant temperature. When I spray it right now, I love it. The first thing that I smell is the tuberous itself and the gardenia. It has this also as jasmine and a fruit notes that has it there, but it's just in the background. When you smell it, that's the thing that you will smell the fruits come out, then gone, and then vanish. And then it has a jasmine. And but throughout the throughout this um time i smell this tuberous and it's so 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 nice it's so nice like this is a thing that it's going to the high tea with some other people or perfect for um melbourne cop that everyone is so glamorous with this sophisticated when you walk and they are i walk in the aisle well, yeah i walk in the aisle there's someone's gonna turn their head and ask what is the perfume that you're wearing it doesn't like um if i'm wearing a chan here um label it will catch all the attention because of the sweetness of the vanilla of the lavender it's just like it's a it's a, like a groundbreaking and it's also a powerhouse type of perfume but this one it has this um sophistications characteristics that it will turn out that the people people will turn their head because it's in the next level of sophistication it's just like it makes you feel rich makes you feel okay i have lots of money but in other way like you know when you are um if you are a person who wants to attend the, the red carpet this is one of them chanel Chanel exclusive and I'm glad that I stick with my decision to purchase this and not even change my mind at that time that's why I'm glad she gave me this decant because right now there's no regret there's no regret ladies and gentlemen I love it that's all I can say so if you have any comments suggestions write down below the box and let me know what is the type of Chanel perfume you would love to have it to your collection or you have it already or what is the type of Chanel perfume is your favorite in exclusive or in the designers let me know down below the box and I hope you enjoy this type of review so if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and the bell so you will be notified when every week video upload and if you enjoyed it please I truly appreciate if you um share it like it and write down comment with your friends and family and have a great and wonderful day ladies and gentlemen and bye for now and see you soon bye guys